Hi everyone, welcome back to our channel Dentistry to the Point. This is Dr. Drumil Manik. So in this video, we are going to discuss about the final steps of cavity preparation. In the initial video, the first part of this was done by Dr. Saloni Jain. In that, she discussed about the initial four steps of cavity preparation. Now we are going to start with the final steps. That is fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth, and Nine steps. There are total five steps in the final stages of cavity preparation. So, amongst that, first will be your removal of defective restorative material or soft or infected dentin. अगर कोई भी infected dentin है, soft dentin है या कोई previous restorative material रह गया है, उस cavity में then you are going to remove that. That is going to be your fifth stage of cavity preparation. Your sixth step, uh, sixth stage will be your pulp protection. Seventh will be your secondary resistance and retention. Form eighth will be your finishing of external and internal walls of the cavity preparation. And lastly, cleaning, inspecting, and sealing the cavity. So these are your nine steps of cavity preparation. In that fifth will be your this one that is removal of defective restorative material or soft or infected dentin. So why are you going to remove? This is mainly going to be removed after the initial preparation of internal and external outline. जब आपका initial preparation हो गया, you have already made the initial cavity preparation of internal and external outline. Then will be your this next step of cavity preparation. So why are this necessary? Why it is necessary to remove the old restorative material or you can say the infected dentin? So first point in that will be your aesthetics. That aesthetics of the new restorative material will be affected. Just in case, imagine that you have a old restorative material of silver amalgam, and now you are going to again prepare the cavity and restore it with composite. Then the amalgam, which is a old restorative material, वो क्या करेगा? Affect करेगा composite के aesthetics को. So that will be your first point that the aesthetics of the new restorative material are affected. Next is your secondary caries. अब सेकेंडरी केरीज क्या होगा वेन एवर देर इज इन्फेक्टेड डेंटिन लेफ्ट विद इन द रिस्टोरेटिव मटीरियल देन देर आर चांसेज दैट अगेन उस एरिया में सेकेंडरी केरीज हो जाएगा सेकेंड पॉइंट विल बी और सेकेंडरी केरीज बिनीथ द मटीरियल इफ द टूथ इज सिमटोमेटिक देन ऑल्सो यू नीड टू रिमूव एंड लास्टली इट कॉम्प्रोमाइज इज द फिजिकल प्रॉपर्टीज और द मैकेनिकल प्रॉपर्टीज ऑफ द न्यू रिस्टोरेटिव material if that restorative material is not able or it is not allowing the new restorative material to attain its physical or mechanical properties whichever we require in an ideal restoration jo bhi ek ideal restoration mein aapko properties chahiye agar wo properties nahi milegi then also it is going to compromise the new restorative material so these are the reasons why you need to remove the old restorative material or you can say the infected or soft dentin Now, what is infected dentin and what is affected dentin? This question is also sometimes asked in the vivas that define or differentiate between tell some differences between the infected and the affected dentin. So, firstly, starting with infected, this is going to be the superficial layer of the demineralized dentin. जो भी demineralized dentin की superficial layer रहेगी, that will be your infected. Dentin. The deep layer will be formed by the affected dentin. Infected is something which is already infected. Affected is something which is not yet infected. It is just affected by that process. So, ये क्या रहेगी? Deep layer of the demineralized dentin. Second point, there is no chances of remineralization of infected dentin. It has lost its properties of remineralization because the collagen fibers present in the infected dentin are Demineralize. They are not having their three-dimensional structure that is capable of again remineralization. So there are no chances of remineralization of infected dentin, but affected dentin have the chances of still remineralizing. Next, there is no sensation or present in the infected dentin. If infected dentin को आप देखोगे, तो आपको कोई sensation feel नहीं होगा. But there are some sensations present in the Affected dentin. Next, the intertubular dentin is demineralized. Of infected dentin, the intertubular dentin which is present between the tubules is also demineralized in the infected dentin. So, at last, in total, the whole dimensional structure of dentin is 
worse and so there are no chances of again demineralization it is partly demineralized the intertubular dentin in this is not fully demineralized in some areas it is demineralized i already told you that the collagen fibers are broken in this the collagen fibers are intact next the infected dentin you can also stain the infected dentin so it can be stained with 0.2% propylene glycol 10% acid red solution or 0.5% basic fusion these are the three chemicals or the compounds which can stain the infected dentin but the affected dentin cannot be stained so this was the basic difference between the infected and affected dentin now next yeah how are you going to remove this dentin what is the procedure what are the protocols you need to keep in mind so first and the foremost protocol to keep in mind is you need to provide as much as minimal amount of pulpal irritation because now you are moving more close to the pulp so there are chances that you may expose the pulp and worsen the case or condition so you need to be careful while removing the nearest part of the dentin which is near the pulp so firstly you need to use a low speed hand piece with a round burr your hand piece should be on a speed of low speed and the round burr should be used with light force plus wiping motion you are not going to dig into the dentin if you dig then you are going to surely reach into the pulpal cavity so just use low speed hand piece with round burr light force and wiping motion you can also use large spoon excavator if you use small spoon excavator then the pin point exposure or there are chances you may expose the pulp but large spoon exposure doesn't have that much chances of exposure of pulp so these are the so so methods by which you can remove the you need to keep this in mind that these are the methods to remove the infected or soft dentin now what there are two main terminologies you need to discuss first is form dentin and soft dentin what is the meaning of this and next is moderate and advanced lesion what are the relations of these two terminologies in relation of your fifth stage of cavity preparation so form dentin or soft dentin kya hai your form dentin is that dentin which has not lost its three dimensional structure of collagen it is demineralized some part of the dentin is demineralized but not to such extent that it has lost its three dimensional structure of collagen fibers and soft dentin is that dentin which has lost its three dimensional structure of collagen fibers matlab ye itna demineralized ho gaya ki iska collagen bhi intact nahi raha aur ye itna hi demineralized hua hai ki iska collagen abhi bhi intact hai so form dentin have the chances of still remineralizing in future there is no necessity to purposely remove the form dentin you can you have to surely remove the soft dentin but form dentin nikalne ki zarurat nahi hai so this is the basic difference between the form dentin and soft dentin this both are affected by carious process but they have the physical characteristic difference between both of them so next is moderate and advanced lesion how is how are you going to approach the removal of dentin in moderate lesion and how are you going to approach in advanced lesion moderate lesion kya rahega jisme the carious process has not reached to the lower one third of dentin that is exact near the pulp or advanced lesion mein kya rahega ki that carious process which has already reached to the lower one third of dentin that is exact near the pulp so moderate lesions mein you have to remove the dentin till you reach the form dentin jab tak aap form dentin tak nahi pahunch jate you can remove the moderate dentin but in advanced lesion you have to go till 1 mm just before the pulp because there are chances that the soft dentin may be present on all the areas you can't exactly measure the amount of carious exposure but you need to remove as much as amount of lesion present in the advanced form because there are chances of again secondary caries beneath the restoration now you have you are not advised to remove the whole uh, dentin and you may expose the pulp that is not necessary some amount of dentin can be left a medicament can be placed and again that there are chances that then dentin may remineralize or get converted into reparative dentin so these are the two terminologies which you need to keep in mind that is moderate and advanced lesion form and soft dentin and this is all about your fifth stage of cavity preparation thank you